we got to celebrate our differences. We got to celebrate our differences. Ooga booga do, ooga booga do. We got to celebrate our differences. Nacho taco, chimichanga. Cause it's beautiful when the whole world sings together. You think it's just gonna help? Uh, off the rip You be talking reckless with your lips Spreading all your heresies and sins Pride is in the way you can't repent Cause off the, uh, off the rip You be talking reckless with your lips Spreading all your heresies and sins What's up y'all, update from the trenches man Man this video is crazy man Watch this video man this is crazy, man. I didn't want to get my cell phone camera. I look like crap right now. This morning, I got to get somewhere and do something. But as you can see, your brother's okay. I'm all right. You know what I'm saying? But uh, America won't be all right soon. So check out this video. And then to say about this one, then you just ain't shit. Chinese state media vows military will show up at U.S. doorstep soon, and China will win. Chinese state-run Global Times media outlet published an op-ed from its editorial board on Wednesday vowing that China's military will soon confront the U.S. in a hostile exchange. The U.S. will definitely see the PLA show up at its doorstep in the not-too-distant future, the op-ed said. The two sides' warships and aircraft on the seas will carry huge mutual strategic hostility. And the two countries will not yield to each other. Once the situation gets out of control and triggers military clash between China and the U.S., we must give full play to our home field advantage. China will definitely win once there is a war, the Global Times op-ed said. The op-ed came in response to U.S. Navy-guided missile destroyer USS Benfold conducting a freedom of navigation operation near the Mischief Reef in the Spratly Islands of the South China Sea on Wednesday. What the U.S. has done is a naked provocation, and this is obvious to all, the Global Times op-ed said adding that the ship posed a threat to the many Chinese people and facilities on the island. The op-ed further called on China to take action, only by making the U.S. have a taste of its own medicine, can we touch the nerves of the U.S. and its allies, and reshape the Western world's understanding of U.S. bullying in the South China Sea, it said. The U.S. Navy 7th Fleet said the U.S. warship sailed in accordance with international law within 12 miles of Mischief Reef, an area that China has heavily militarized and reportedly began flying military flights out of earlier this year. So there it is. China vows that they're fucking coming. And Biden said this morning that his number one concerns are the interests of the United Nations. Yeah. Yo, bro, this is not good, bro. This is not good. First of all, the Canary Islands is about to blow the fuck up, bro. All right, all right, now look at this. Yeah, so basically, right, they said that half the island is going to slide off into the ocean is going to cause a major tsunami. They already put up the picture. Y'all see that shit? They said Florida going to be underwater. Atlantis. All of the coastline going to be underwater. New York, Philly, everywhere. Texas, all that shit, bro. And I'm telling you, if this was to happen, this was prophesied, bro. Look. This is getting real deep, yo. I'm not even going like cat. Real red. Pay attention. For anyone that lives on the east coast of the United States, uh, if you live within 40 miles of the ocean, you need to be ready. You need to have your uh, uh, a suitcase packed. Put it in your car tonight. Be sure that your car is gassed up with gasoline uh, just in case you have to flee. Um, you're not going to probably get any warning. If, once they give a warning, uh, it will be too late. So um, uh, I don't know if I'm going to do any more updates. But uh, I will leave you the link to Hal Turner Radio.
radio show. He's got the latest breaking updates uh, from his contact in the uh, FBI and the government. So I just wanted to bring you this latest uh, update on what is going on. This could or uh, are not happen, folks. The last time that this uh, uh, volcano erupted was in 1971. And this is not like the volcano in Hawaii. This eruption on this island will be massive, sort of like Mount St. Helens when it blew its top. And they do expect that if that eruption happens, then this whole part, uh, the size of Manhattan, will slide into the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean, and cause a 3,000-foot tsunami right around the island. And also, once it gets to the United States and heads toward the uh, uh, South America, uh, it will be anywhere from 100 to two to 300 feet, depending on where it hits. So, um, you know, the Bible does talk about in the book of Revelation that a flaming mountain slides into the sea and causes destruction on the earth during the tribulation period. This might be it, folks. I don't Prepare yourself, bro. Prepare. You know what I'm saying? The end is near, bro. I mean, I don't know. Who knows when day, time, or hour? I don't know all that, but... I mean, there you go, man. I'll be back with another video soon, y'all. Keep your heads up. G-Rock signing off for this breaking news. Almost forgot one more thing. Subscribe, subscribe. Subscribe, hit that subscribe button. Let's go. Just made it to 600. Let's go. Every nation on earth gonna see. Every knee shall bow. King of Kings.